I'm honored and humbled and overjoyed to be here today to represent not only the thousands of Americans whose lives whose lives have been adversely impacted by the Defense of Marriage Act, but those whose hopes and dreams have been constricted by the same discriminatory law. Over the past two and a half years, many people have asked me, why did you decide to sue the United States of America over a tax bill? Because the answer is complex, I want to give you some of the background. I lived with and loved the Aspire for more than four decades in love and joy, in sickness and in health until death did us part. When Thea died in 2009 from a heart condition, two years after we were finally married, I was heartbroken. On a deeply personal level, I felt distressed and anguished that in the eyes of my government, the woman I had loved and cared for and shared my life with was not my legal spouse but was considered to be a stranger with no relationship to me. I cried. <laughs> I cried, okay, but I, I thrilled, obviously. But, uh, but yeah, the immediate reaction was just tears. It makes me feel incredibly proud, okay? Incredibly proud and humble, okay? Wow, do I deserve this? Uh, I think some accident of history put me here. No, I prepared three speeches, okay, okay? <laughs> One was, one was total win, one was uh, as applied, which was a possibility, uh, and one was total loss. Uh, so, so no, I was, I, I wished, no question, I did not allow myself to assume we'd win. <laughs> 